uh, the commissioners of the electoral body are now huddled in a meeting trying to um, uh, verify the numbers that they have uh, declared yesterday as the final results from the 291 constituencies countrywide. And there are a few uh, thousand votes floating over the number that they have uh, given uh, some of the numbers do not add up and this is what they are trying to fine-tune any little change in the numbers might see the country going for a runoff uh, because Uhuru Kenyatta is right now holding 4,100 votes above the threshold necessary for any candidate to win the elections in the first round uh, so uh, it's not final yet and we are still waiting for the Commission to come out and announce the results. Yeah, I mean, even a few votes are, are crucial, aren't they? Because he's he's really just squeaked past the 50% he needs. But I, I guess he doesn't care how big a mandate he, uh, he gets because anything above 50% means that he doesn't have to go head to head with Raila Odinga. Indeed, uh, the Uhuru campaign team have been uh, trying as much as possible to avoid a runoff, and this is what they have been telling their supporters throughout the campaign period that the elections should be concluded in the first round knowing very much that in, in case there is a runoff the possibility of Raila winning the elections increases and this is what they were trying to avoid as much as possible so as the commission right now continues to verify the numbers and also listen to complaints that are coming from the court uh, alliance of Prime Minister Raila Odinga that's been uh, fighting the numbers that have been given so far saying that they have been rigging in some places the Commission needs to uh, make sure that what they announce finally as the final result has integrity because this is very crucial for the stability of Kenya knowing very well how the elections went bad uh, the last time and you know leading to the death of more than 1,000 people